hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel tonight yes we're gonna be talking about these two people yes they were once lovers they were once friends they were trying to uh have a family and everything but dennis was you know he messed up he tried to make it work but Portia wanted her ring back allegedly and he he wasn't feeling it he said if you don't sign that prenup then no nah, i can't give you the ring back so that was the demise of their relationship or maybe Portia was just trying to basically try to hold out until she gets something better and little did dennis know he wasn't the only person she was cozying up to. All right. Bam. Bada bing. Okay. Portia is engaged to Simon Gabadio was what the streets had been saying. And she finally made it public. And then Dennis found out. And he was like, oh, shit now. Okay. He was like, no, nah, this ain't happening to me. <laughs> you know, we were once a happy family, you know. And nobody can take uh that away from dennis he was a good dad once the baby came and i think he provided well for uh portia when she was pregnant uh but you know being a man a dog he had to go out there and call himself look for some other entertainment while his bride to be was having his daughter okay but little did he know she was uh doing a little something something on the side too after the fact meaning after the fact she found out he was cheating after the fact the baby had got here and after the fact that he wouldn't give her that ring back but her cousins them and her sister were dropping dime to dennis and telling him all about her new beau okay her new fiance you know them youtube streets were talking they were ablaze okay they were ablaze they were sparking hot and we were hearing this that and the third the streets were saying portia went and took her uh co uh cast mate fallon's husband she was doing the do with him before he was even um divorced from fallon his ex-wife okay the man simon gabadio has been married and divorced three times portia would be his fourth wife <laughs> and i'm like oh just too much that is miss fallon that was simon gabadio's third wife now we're in the courthouse because what i heard uh, from a little birdie from my family, my YouTube family, that Portia and Dennis McKinley allegedly is supposed to be going to court uh, to get, I guess, uh, some legalization going on. Uh, so Portia won't think she has sole custody and she can make all the decisions along with her new glorified boyfriend slash fiance letting him make it letting them make the decisions about portia and his daughter okay and we know how portia can get down is this the street saying it? she's a, a home wrecker you know she's over there talking about, I, I didn't know fallon you know fallon and her were on this broad bravo show called the real housewives of atlanta and uh, Portia was supposed to interact with her like they were friends or something. You know, trying to give us that, you know, camaraderie or whatnot since she was a newbie coming on the show. And they felt Portia would be a good person to have her uh, under her wing or take her under her wing or whatnot. Like they, Nene and Cynthia did Portia when she first came in. So, yeah, Street saying Portia took her husband, child. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair simon's wife fallon at the time she was supposed to have been having a little twist and turn of an affair as well so her hands ain't clean but like i said it's always sides to a story and the truth is laying in the middle somewhere somehow it will be dug up and come to the surface but that man right there honey child he is a hot mess he he just grandpa to me i i just don't like his energy I, I just don't like him you know and i don't like the energy he has towards um baby girl pj when she's around him because she don't seem like she like him either she be pulling away from him when they want to take pictures she ain't trying to hold no hands she ain't trying to do none of that because she knows that ain't her daddy okay that's her daddy and she be all up in his face on his chest around his neck he is her security okay and i'm like 
Hey, go on and do your thing, Dennis. You may not be a good boyfriend or husband, but you're a damn sure good dad. And Portia cannot take that away from you. Even though she tried, she tried. But they supposed to be going to court, y'all, this month and, and try to uh determine paternity. Well, now I was like, it's paternity, but guard, guardianship, where is somebody going to have sole custody or are they going to have split custody? My thing is, you know, to be both uh clearly fair and being transparent i really do think they should both have 50 50 on the baby you know what i'm saying because she needs both of them she loves her mama portia from her head to her feet okay and everything in between she don't she want to be her mini me she want to be right up under her mama but if she can't be up under her mama she want to be up under her daddy because she loves her daddy that's her doo-doo that's her boo-boo that's her daddy you know how you have these daddy girls honey she just be so lit up and you can see her face a mile away when she see her daddy come or she's in his presence but see, Portia trying to be evil. She trying to be nasty. So uh, she trying to say, you know, they were trying to do this blended thing, you know, with the families and all this. And Dennis was like, uh-uh, I don't think we, we need to be doing all that. And, she, you know, Portia's sister and cousin talked him into it, you know, saying, well, you know, somebody else going to be around your child and she's going to be around some other folk. You need to try to get to know them, you know, get a blended family thing going on. And he was like, shit, I, as long as I got my mama, I got Portia mama. I don't need to know nothing about Simon. <laughs> Simon and his affairs. But this is what uh, really the streets were talking when Mama Gina was saying Portia was having an affair, you know, on Dennis. Meaning she was cheating too while she trying to put her son out there thinking he was the only cheater in the relationship. But yes, honey. Ooh, China. Now, ain't that little cozy for uh, Portia to say they weren't friends or they didn't know each other that well, but they was taking a slick picture like that? Child, please. And that man got problems because, you know, why would he be in an arena with some shades on? Okay. And that's, you know, um, Portia's mom. And Dennis always had something to say about, you know, when you go out or when you go places with Simon or this, that, and the third at the last moment or whatever, you always have your mama take care of the baby. And you can have my mama take care of the baby sometime. My mom needs to see her granddaughter too. We need some fairness up in here. And so, you know, uh, Dennis, you know, was bamboozled, who winked and everything. And uh, they tried to do this, uh, family, Portia Family Matters thing where they want to do blending families. And he, he didn't want to go. He didn't want to go. He's up there just explaining himself, this, that, and the third, like he's going to have to do in court. And he needs to take my video with him to show the accuracy of things of how Portia gets down. See, Portia was just doing all that lally gag. And if she knew, if Dennis knew she was really messing with Simon, he wouldn't have thrown her that Mother's Day brunch. Okay? Because that came out of Dennis' dime, not Simon. Okay? So he was really good to Portia. But Portia was pushing too many buttons because she said she didn't want to live in the city and this that and third he had that pretty little apartment loft downtown she had to make him you know come uh down there where she was in Duluth because she wanted her baby or their children to grow up in a suburban area now she wants to leave, move while she's with this little joker this little has been of somebody that he's trying to show us he is and he can't show and prove okay and they want him around her and then you know he, he mad because Porsche got that fake hair in his daughter's hair you know he, he just said he ain't got he's telling the judge pleading with the judge that judge i have nothing to say when it comes to my daughter but i'm supposed to be providing for her and i don't have no problem with providing for my daughter i don't want to have another man providing for my daughter i could do that on my own i'm a self-made man you know what i'm saying people help me to get where i am now so i can definitely afford my daughter and anything that comes and go with her far as experiences and love and you can see she don't want simon touching her you see how she put her hands up there she's like uh-uh and then i saw a picture but i couldn't find it on uh his page where she was trying to hold her hand and she like pulling away from him i said hon i know you you want your daddy your real dad he's still living and that's where you need to be with your real dad because <laughs> simon he don't even want to keep his own kids you know so he's going to be presenting all this evidence to the judge hopefully this month to show the difference uh of the parenting skills and who's really spending more time with their daughter okay but she's trying to paint this picture because everybody in social media has always you know gotten on her 
about Simon's never with his kids and he ain't never with Portia kids either. So now she's trying to bamboozle who the judge by thinking, um, well, he's a better fit to raise uh, PJ and not PJ's dad, Dennis. And he, she's trying to paint this picture that her daughter really is fond of Simon when we could clearly tell, no, they're not. No, nope, she love her mama, she love her boo-boo, and Portia needs to be whooped up to crack her ass with all that fake hair going on that girl. You know what I'm saying? The girl is not a dog, she's a human being. And just, you know, the edges can come out. It, it's just too much, you know. She's doing too much. Uh, but that's just my pun intended, you know, it's just my opinion. And, you know, Simon, he didn't want uh, Portia to have all that fake hair in her hair. He should have said something like, baby, you don't need to put that in that baby's girl's hair. Braid her her own hair and let her, let her own hair grow on its own. And you're going to be very surprised with the, the you know, the results. That her, your baby hair might be down her back. But you got, you can't brush things like that. But, of course, you know, we got to be messy. We can't hold things too kosher over here. Yes, that's why we're going to be in messy video. Because Dennis need to report to the judge what Portia is like when she get angry. Okay? And we've all seen it. And I'm pretty sure those who know, know Portia. Those who watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Any judge that is here in Atlanta. They know good and goddamn well what that show is all about. And they pretty much know Portia. Because Portia done got in trouble with the law. She had to go turn herself in. Because somebody put a warrant out on her allegedly. You know after that fight with Kenya Moore. Yes honey Portia had to go down. <laughs> she had to go downtown. And we finna roll the footage. That's what then it's going to tell the judge. Roll the footage judge. And I'm going to give you an example of what my baby mama does how she gets down when she gets angry and um i want to be able to prove show and prove what kind of woman we're dealing with just in case you haven't been up to date with watching ratchet re uh, reality shows you know and how they get down and how the people that are in the show get down so we're just going to be waiting on the footage to roll. And it's going to be exciting, Judge. But it's going to be kind of damaging for my um, baby mama. Because I do have witnesses to speak out about what went and what transpired during the Mexico trip. That we were trying to be blended families. You know, I didn't want to go. I told them I didn't want to go. But they had my robe hostage. And we ain't even going to go talking about the robe. Because I still ain't got that damn robe as of yet. Okay? Allegedly. But uh, her own cousin don't like her on her dad's side. It's issues. Even her sister on her dad's side have issues with her. And I just, you know, I know Portia go fast and, you know, this, that, and the third. <coughs> but she she went too fast with this man. And that cousin, the other cousin was saying the same thing. And Portia just damn right mean to my mama and I can't stand it. And that's uh, PJ's, our daughter, of the grandmama. Okay, she can't just have no blended family and be acting all crazy around him. But judge, pay attention. There's a fight gonna soon out of here. Okay, and then she tried to get me locked up in Mexico talking about I had, uh, that's her cousin. They said that I was supposed to have been, you know, manhandling down there in Mexico. But judge, I, I came home. When it was time, when filming had stopped and it was time for us to come home, they didn't hold me up in Mexico. I came on home. Now, you know, a black man striking a woman down there and they can prove it. I would have been under the Mexico jail. But judge, as you can see, you see who been the aggressive one, right? You see Portia Hand. Then she done went down there in another country trying to, uh, get a hold of some religious stuff and i don't want my daughter to be growing up you know you know with somebody else's religion i think that should be something taught or introduced to me and her mom now that he ain't got nothing to do with it okay but like i said i want to see my daughter and all this kind of stuff and you know i had to go find portia mama because portia mama always got the baby you know and that's my baby i put the sperm in and, and fertilize that egg you know what i'm saying that's me and her baby but it don't seem like i'm getting enough time you know, he got my child on his yacht, his boat, whatever it is. They always in Costa Rica. And Judge, you know what be going down in uh, Costa Rica. I ain't got to really spell it out for you. Drug trafficking and, and, and everything, Judge. Drugs, you know. And I want my baby girl around there. Because it's going to be a situation, Judge. And I'm going to be in jail. I'm going to be done to somebody up. I'm going to be done to somebody up. But, um... 
Portia, you know, she she like to fight. She get angry and she don't know how to discuss things rationally. She thinks she got to go put her hands on folk. And that, that's not good. That's not good. And she was trying to get a hold of my mom over there in Mexico. And throwing dishes, knives, folks, plates, and equipment, boom boxes, microphone, just everything. And I had to, like, duck. Then her family came attacking me on both sides. I didn't even know it, to strike like a snake or, or, or fall to the floor. I didn't know what to do, uh, judge. They had me. You know, they had mine all messed up. Ooh, judge, and th- you know that would then be telling the judge, and judge be sitting up there probably cackling and, and, and tr- trying not to laugh, and well, all that. And he'd be like, "Damn, you went through all that." And he'd be like, "Yeah, judge, I went through all that." And this woman crazy, thinking I ain't gonna pre- try to protect my daughter from her as well as Simon. Ah, oh, judge, you need to give me fifty fifty, or give me soul custody here until we can find out if Portia cool, cause she tried to help. Her cousin locked me up there on there. T- had the cousin face looking all bruised and shit. And I don't think I know, Lord. You know, it could have got. Portia could have hit her. You know, by mistake. Because like I said, she was throwing everything in the air. And everybody was ducking. And, and they were trying to tear me up. And I was out there looking for my mama. That I don't know where she was. And I was just fighting all these hands and all these nails and everything. And I'm like, Lord, I didn't know what to do. You know, I, I thought I wanted to strike out at them. But then I'm like, no. But then I wanted to fall to the flow. You know what I'm saying? Or crawl to the flow and crawl down the steps to see where my mama was. But just everything just happened so fast. And Grandpa, her supposed to be fiancé, he tried to grab and all this. But she just kept going on. She was calling my mama all these kind of names. She was being mean to her. She was rushing her out the, the, the place where we were trying to eat. Everything was just in chaos and disorder. And she going to talk about I touched her family member. I ain't touched her family member, uh, Judge. I would have been in jail. I've been in the Mexico jail, you know, trying to burn out and everything. The president probably had to come get me because they weren't going to let me go here. They would have think I was in Quant- Guantanamo Bay. Uh, what that, that, what that? Quintana Bay, y'all know what they be sitting up there. It'd be like a Mexican prison jail, Cuban jail. And they they be, I don't know, be ready to decapitate you. And I can't go through that. You know, we already went through the hanging situation long back time ago. And we know we ain't going there. We're going to fight. We're going to fight, Lord, before we get back done like that. But, you know, it was just too much, you know. And then she got mad because I bought a girl. And she got a whole ass fiance, man, that she laying up with. And I'm down here laying up with myself, you know. And I, I you know, I, I like my women, George. I ain't going to lie. I like my women. But I'm like, you know, she was upset about that. But she got a full-fledged boyfriend, fiance, laying up with her. And I can't have nobody. And, um, Portia, you said that. That's who said that, girl. Damn. But anyway. You know, this housewives thing she was on. You know, she tried to get me on, and I was on it for uh, a season or so. And, you know, I was a glorified man at the time. And she tried to pressure me into marrying her, made me get her a ring, a rock, and all this kind of stuff. But she didn't want to sign a prenup, Judge. She didn't want to sign a prenup. And, you know, my mama saw her coming a mile away. And I don't have to look out for my mama, too, because the business is both in our names, you know. She helped me get started and things of that nature. But Portia, you've just been too greedy. You know, Portia don't mess with no broke, broke eagles now, um, Judge. She don't. But that's another thing. Um, shout out to Straight from the A. Michelle ATL and Brown. Go check her out. Um, that's her logo. She does a lot of, um, we call it, vlogging. And she talks about celebrities and um, their comments and going. She's real good. Go check her out. But... As you can see, she's fighting on her show that she has a platform on. Kenya Moore was the woman that she ended up getting the fight. She just got her hair, pulled her to the floor, and wouldn't let her go. And she didn't want nobody else to touch them. She just wanted to drag the lady. I didn't know her at the time. I knew of her, but I wasn't dating her. But I was like, well... You know, then she got into it with a friend of hers. You know, she went to jail. See, I, that's why I'm, so, I'm confused because she fight everybody. Fight everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was one of her friends. Look how she did her thing. And can you imagine what she would have did to mine? Because, you know, I wasn't raised to hit no baby, no uh, female. But, you know, it'd be that fight or flight thing. And I don't know how my hand's going to come up when somebody, you know, hit me a little bit too hard than I'm what I was expecting or try to punch me like they're a man. Because my mama raised me right good. My, the, my mama raised me right. That would that do that what Dennis would be saying. You know, he'd be making his case. And, um, 
I can just see it. That's how I'm, I'm playing it in my mind, trying to give it to y'all. How the scenario will work out. But Dennis don't got enough, I'm sure, compiled up against Portia and her comings and goings. And she can't edit it in the courthouse. And then she's going to come t tell Dennis, you know, before her the show ended, that she wanted to be brothers and sisters. <laughs> Y'all had a whole baby together. Done been turning in them seats. And now you want to look at Dennis as your bro uh, brother? I don't think so. But like I said, she's been a fighter since I know her. Uh, judge, that would then be telling the judge. She's been a fighter. Look at example A. B and C. She, she done been in three fights since I've known her. One when we were personally together, and then, which is that, when we were over there in Mexico, uh, fooling around trying to do this blended family thing, and she got into it with uh, another castmate, Cynthia Bailey. She was trying to fight her, and Cynthia had to, like, push her off of her and everything. Then Kenya Moore, you know, got in that fight with her, which was another cast member on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and she dragged her to the floor, you know. Um, it just, she got anger issues. She got real bad anger issues. And from what I understood, the company she worked for, which is Bravo, they sent her to anger management as an appeasement. Because, you know, can you, her other co-star person that she had dragged her hair, she wasn't letting stuff go. But, you know, some amicably was worked out and all that. And, you know, Portia did go to, um, see, that's her running down the street trying to get Jamie, the one she had fucked up in the eye that you really, we had saw a few minutes ago, Judge. That was her. I see she'd be another whole woman. And I'd be scared for her and my daughter, you know, at the time, and myself. Because I don't know what she would do. Because right now, she ain't giving me no viability for my daughter. You know, it's like, she won't tell me where they stand. or supposed to be staying her and her boyfriend, fiance, how you want to see it. They over there picking schools. They ain't letting me know that um, um, piece of information. Like, I'm her father. I should be making those decisions with you. Simon is not her father, okay? And, you know, she just got this mean spirit in her. She's fight. She like to fight. And um, I'm just concerned, Judge. That's why I think I need 50-50. If not, if you want to give me the whole 100% custody, that's fine, too. I can deal with that. And I would definitely give her a doable schedule of how we would split up our um, time with our baby girl. Okay, but I think it's done got out of hand, uh, Judge. And, you know, she won't set no rules where she go by what we say we're going to do. She always upsetting the balance. So I just, I'm here today to plead uh, to you to help us with this situation because me trying to work or work with Porsche on my own, it's has got nowhere but fights. You know, fights have broken out, and I really need see my daughter. She, she, she. Somebody's talking to her, and it's probably her mama taking a picture, but she ain't trying to. Um, they're trying to get the perfect optics against me because she don't even let the man. She don't let the baby girl sit in between them. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at these pictures, Judge, and I, it's not culture. It's not culture. So, and then he smoke all the time. He drank and smoke all the time. I've been a witness of it. And I want all that going around my daughter. You know, that's what Dennis would be telling the judge. And, you know, then she got weave in my daughter's hair. My daughter is just in preschool. She don't need no weave in her hair. You know what I'm saying? But, I, you know, I'm, I can't say too much because, you know, if Portia get mad at me, I don't see my child. And I have to call around, you know, Atlanta to see where she at, who got her and all that. And I just don't think that's right. So, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you could give us a schedule that we can abide by uh, so we can get things popping. Because right now, she's doing things that I don't like, you know. Then it's probably didn't get to see his child for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? And they in Atlanta. But, I would Dennis probably would say. When his court date come up. Because that's his baby girl. That's his only child. And he don't want nothing to happen to that child. He'll probably go ballistic. So. He's enlisting the help. Of the judge. In the city of Atlanta. To help him with Dirty Simon. Her fiance. And. His baby mama. Okay. Because it's all about the well being. And the protection. Of the baby. Okay. So. Yeah. Um. This is what I hear now. I don't know for certain, for sure. Okay, so don't get me 
caught up in anything, like I'm lying or whatever. But I heard from a credible source in our family. I ain't going to put her out there like that. Okay. But um, she said that Dennis and um, um, Portia was supposed to be going for a um, custody hearing. Or to decide how they would split the child up. Or as far as 50-50 or who would get sole custody. Because Portia's just doing too much. She ain't letting him be around his child enough. She ain't letting him make decisions of where his child, her, you know, whether the child need to go to school and who she's going to be with, who's going to be watching her from Monday through Sunday, giving him access to have his mama watch the baby some instead of Portia's mama watching the baby like it's a normal thing. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my side of the family need to know my baby girl too. And they need to love on her and spoil her just like Portia's side of the family. But, I, you know, I've been in Portia's side of the family and, you know, they're a hot mess. But, you know, I know my daughter's going to be around them and I want her to feel what, you know, what she needs me to feel, which is comfortable while I'm around there with them. Because they something else to judge. They something else, but I ain't going to drop dime on none of them. But I gave you and provided you enough footage to show, you know, I need your help because this woman is something else. My daughter, baby mom, and I don't like to talk bad about her when I'm around her, about her mom. You know, but, you know, she, I'm pretty sure she be wearing my butt out. And PJ, PJ might be picking up some stuff. And that's what I'm trying to get, where she's going to have to keep her mouth closed or how she really feel about me around our daughter because we shouldn't taint her. She shouldn't taint her. Talking about me, and I won't taint her talking about her. So, and that's what that's how the thing would be, y'all. That's how the thing would be. I thought I'd just give y'all that little, uh, what do you call it, narrative of how I see it going if Dennis played his cards right and collect all this evidence from the Mexico trip up until this point. He got enough on Portia, but Portia just say, Okay, he can have 50 50. You know what I'm saying. Because, you know, you can't dispute stuff that's in black and white. And you can't dispute stuff that's filmed. <laughs> you know, it's like it's archived. And it's going to be archived in one of those judges' brains. Whether, you know, that she get a male or a uh, female. And if they really do watch or are quite aware of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they know who Portia is. Those streets are talking. And... A lot of y'all may think it's real big, but it's really not. It's kind of small. Especially in some of the circles that you have to run through. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Hopefully y'all liked it. Love it. Gotta have more. You know what you need to do. Hit that subscription uh, bell. Subscribe to the channel. And um, definitely, as you're leaving the house, make sure you share and like my videos. Okay? Well, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Yo, Cole.